It's Miranda. I wasn't going to record another video this year, like a full video, but then I decided, you know, maybe I should just a little something because it's something that I've kind of been wanting to and not wanting to do at the same time. It's going over my channel. Just, I haven't done this in a while. Um, officially just looking at the oldest videos I've posted. There were a couple before this uh, Grand Theft Auto one, but they're private, so... But, this San Andreas thing, I... Yeah. It, it's random, it's random violence, because I finally figured out how to capture on my computer in my parents' house, like when I was, what, what is this? 2006, okay. So I was 27. And this is December 20th, 2006. So I finally figured out how to capture, but I didn't, um, I didn't really do anything after that, unfortunately. You can only see the first letters, but if you're noticing, this old memory is trying hard, it's September 7th, and then it's, that was 2015. And then in 2019, the Meltdown video. That's the one that I want to, I want to go over, but I don't know if I should. I don't think it's going to really affect me the same. I think I can explain a little bit better, maybe now. Let's start with the sillies. Look at this capture. I'm so proud. I'm sorry this is so big, but standard. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's get let's ex exit. I might have to cut some of that out because or blur it because, you know. Being family friendly right this second, I think. It's old memories. Uh, yeah, I was being, hi, I'm Miranda, instead of, hi, I, I'm, it's Miranda. It's just, this for fun. This one I kind of thought was, I thought this was all right. I was proud of myself. You're allowed to be proud of yourself. I make the same faces. <sighs> I really like this song too. So this this technically would have been a short. I made this seven years ago. Yeah, don't don't duck face. This could have stopped already. Also, I could have done more. I realized afterwards, I don't plan things out that much. I just kind of go. Sometimes I have a little bit of an outline. Very rarely do I have like a written. That's not, that's, that's not true though. It's not true. <laughs> I'm proud of some of my selfies. Like I said, you're allowed to be proud. I think I look ridiculous and goofy in some of them, but I still think that I still think they're fun. They're fun. I wish more people would do that. Let's like see those those faces. Minimal makeup. Yeah, I still do minimal makeup. I have very little concealer, mascara, and a little bit of like chapstick. I saw something about double lip lines. TikTok just comes up with the weirdest things, but. I was like, okay, maybe that's me, whatever. So I decided, and I liked the way it looked, that I was just gonna line here and a little bit here, put the chapstick lip gloss and just kind of just smear it a little bit and then I'm fine with that. I don't go out. Um, I, I used to say I think it's important for people to like their own face without makeup and everything. I still feel that way, but I understand. Sorry, I heard something. Um, I still feel that way, but I do understand that some people just aren't going to. There's really nothing you can do about that. I I wish that for everybody to just look at your face, and even if you're like, I wish I could change this, and then you still like your own face. I want that for everybody. Just be like, oh yeah, that's that's interesting, and it's on my face, so I'm gonna have to like it. This is the one meltdown at forty. Okay, I'll skip through. I don't know if to anybody out there, 
relate to this specific feeling. I'm gonna explain myself already here because I don't know how to explain. I didn't know how to explain myself. I was feeling very alone, and at the same time, I was feeling very much like I was being watched all the time. It's a very weird feeling, and I think it was also because I knew that the end of was just things just did not feel right. I knew all I'll say, no details, because like I said, I'm not the only one in this relationship. Uh, but that's how I was feeling here, and I don't know if I explained it properly. I just started getting really, really down on things I didn't need to get down on, just overthinking things. Okay, yeah, I don't think I should watch this. I will tell you though, well, nice face, make fun of myself, I'm allowed to, it's been years. And you know what? You still feel like this sometimes, right? Yeah, you do. I'm talking to myself. Past me. Hi. Hi, past me. I still feel like that, but this was one of the first times I remember feeling like I was talking myself out of it pretty quickly because sometimes this stuff lasts for hours and it does like come back like close together. I'm still able to be like, okay, what's going on now? Everything's okay now. Relax now. Like I have to, I'm, I'm like now, what's now? What's now? What's now? Like it's, it's, whatever anyone call it, being in the present, uh, mindfulness, whatever you want to call it. But um, I find that I also have a tendency to meditate without knowing that I'm meditating because I will repeat something to myself and breathe. And that's another thing. I've been telling people to breathe since forever. Like I would go up to people in my old jobs and things like that. And I would just walk up to them and say, breathe, if it looked like they were really stressing. It's a thing you have to go, just kind of stop and be like. And I think I got to do that when I was talking here because I was saying everything and then I breathed and I started feeling the same kind of releasing of like, I don't feel like I want to cry anymore. I feel like my tears are finishing up even though I look like a freaking mess. I think I'm okay right now. I wonder when the next one will happen, but I'm not as worried about it as I was a second ago. And that just kept happening. Happening? That kept happening. I don't know how to explain myself any more than I do. Um, maybe I'll revisit this one day and I'll say something so profound that someone out there is like, oh, yes, me too. This, okay. I'm sure someone out there would be like, yeah, that's why you should get out more. I understand that, but I'm, 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 I get ahead of myself all the time. I think the more I started like watching people talk about themselves, even though it seems very narcissistic to see people talk about themselves, what ends up happening is you're like, me too, me too. If I sat and hung out with this person, we I feel like we'd get along. But you know, if you're a if you're a good parasocial person, if you're good about it. You know that you're not going to go there and you're not going to see them necessarily. You just watch them, okay? Remember, no stalkers. <laughs> you you got you to preempting. So I feel like what happened was I watched so many people talk about themselves that I started seeing viewpoints that were similar to mine and then some that were like different enough that I could actually understand them instead of being like, yeah, I think I know where you're coming from. I was like, I know exactly where you're coming from. I don't feel that way, but I know exactly why you feel that way. It feels like very like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. It's just so helpful to hear people just like, just ramble and just, uh, you know, it's just really helpful. And like I said, I'm sure some people say that's why you go out more, but I felt like the places I was going out and the situations where I was seeing people, I couldn't really get that deep with them. And also the people like when you, when you start talking and you're a married person you and you don't want to talk to like someone that could potentially be attracted that way because sometimes people get cozy. You know, you have to be a little careful. So yeah, I'm rambling myself into a tizzy, but yeah, I think what happened was I started figuring a lot of things out about myself 
more than you would expect from just watching YouTube videos. Um, someone out there is probably like, no, but you need therapy. I get, I get it. I get all that stuff. But I'm just saying it's amazing what can be gleaned from just listening to people. There's so much to hear. You hear how much I ramble? Do you think I am the only person who does this? Click around. Even the Let's Players. There there aren't that many Let's Players I have seen who just sit there and let the game play for a long time, unless it's like a very narrative-driven story game or something like that. It's usually a lot of talking. And if there's two of them, for people like the Game Grumps, people like, I'm just trying to, like, just people who are together like that, they start talking um, like the scary game squad, they, they'll eventually start interacting in a way sometimes when there's like a little bit of a downtime in the game where you're just like, huh, yeah, I feel like that too. And you just like, it's, <laughs> eh. make fun of myself. But anyway, um, yeah, I, th I, I don't want this video to actually go on very, very long. I was intending to really like dive into it, but I realized that's going to, that's going to take way too long because I also don't want to go there. I am watching this and I, I remember there was a, a little point in time because I revisit my own stuff sometimes just to be like, how could I have edited this better? How could I have just done that better? Like, do I feel like I was being genuine here? And I'm proud of the things I've done, even if I know I could have done better with the editing. And I let myself ramble and I don't take out as much ums and down stuff as I could but I couldn't watch this without crying for a while and I'm not crying now because I know that I'm so much like my brain goes to better places now even if they start going to even if they go to like no that's not good it's just like mm, yes I know that's not good allow it and move on and there you there you go it's just it's just healthier that's really my end of the year video. I don't think I want to go further than this. Yeah. I was going to do something different for the end of the year. I oh, But like I said, I don't plan these things. I just like, you know, I'm just going to record. So I made that noise in my head, apparently. That's how when I turn on my camera, it's the noise it makes. Computers these days. I really should stop making that noise now. Anyway. I'm gonna go and um it's funny because I understand this person but I don't feel like this person anymore and it's only been three years I am glad I started this channel I'm just a little tired you know end of the year holidays you know how it works Hope you have a good anything. I, I don't really make resolutions, so that's why I'm not saying things like that. If I was like, well, she didn't do the resolution, she didn't do the typical New Year. Should old acquaintance be forgot, you know? Like, I don't really, I don't really make resolutions. I just try to reset my brain a little and say, okay, hopefully I'll have a better year. And that's it. I hope that for you too.